Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video again, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, yes for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. I am experiencing some problems with uploading on time and everything, that's why I'm figuring out which way I should do these videos. This one, I am doing a screen recording and then I will post it after that, afterwards on YouTube. So yes, I will be making some mistakes as a Dutchie trying to speak English, uh, probably also not editing this video, so that's why I can't cut out some stupid mistakes I will be making, but let's like raw life. Let's see if I succeed in this today. Um, today we are going to talk about the Bitcoin blockchain and life of course um, sharing some really cool bitcoin charts that will show you what will happen next with bitcoin um, sharing the ban profits sharing the tiktok profits we made and of course talking about the news i read this morning during the delicious cup of coffee here in tulum mexico in my beautiful apartment um, we will probably move soon but we will keep you that up to date about that as well yesterday i visited this beautiful event a blockchain meetup here in the middle of tulum we were with more than 50 people over there um, da vinci dj, DJ 15 mm crypto uh, maddie miss uh, bitcoin former miss bitcoin now she's called madalon um, was also there so there were a lot of people on the meetup beautiful chats with a lot of cool people a lot of dutchies here in tulum as well bitcoin dutchies so meeting and greeting with a lot of people really cool and um, we yes still need to get used to the whole Tulum time zone and all that stuff because it's like uh, jet lag still uh, waking up two three times in a night so um, excuse me for not being structured as normal but I'm going to try to update you as much as possible with cool charts and all that stuff let's jump into the first part of the video the blockchain uh, the, <laughs> ah, there is the first mistake bam give it a thumbs up for the first mistake let's jump into the ta part let's take the first chart and show you what i think that is happening at the moment i should be doing it like um, this now and yes i can share you now the four hour chart this four hour chart shows you that we could do a huge short yesterday I already tweeted that and shared it in the discord group today we saw this long flag appearing long flag is this green flag uh, which you can see there on the screen this long flag is very important that is an indication that we will go for a long then we wait for three confirmations normally we wait before till this yellow line is broken there the stepping line with a candle and the candle closes above that line till that time we normally wait but this was such a huge drop yesterday that you of course analyze the market and you think okay maybe we should take this long because the yellow area over there that one is declining tremendously we can see the bam bam indicator crossing the y line and going a little bit flat which is the only thing that is worrying me and we can also see a red dot above the bottom line of this white band in the TikTok indicator so for me that was a lot of confirmations to go for that long so that is what I would look at today let's see what we did yesterday and yesterday we traded it as well wow that works really well hopefully it's recording this <laughs> we traded with 500 US dollar with a leverage of them like you can see the first trade made us 250 US dollar so the long over the, the short over there excuse me that turned into the 750 US dollar we did the second trade was a long the long was around four percent which turned the amount into thousand us dollar and then we ended up with doing another long again four percent ending up at a total of 1480 us dollar um, yes i closed and i went to bed directly because i still am like this sleepy rhythm is not good at the moment please pause the video and look at all the arrows if you want to see exactly why we entered why we didn't enter and why we didn't sell at certain moments like these three arrows indicating here um, why we didn't take the trade that was then sh shown on the chart if you want to know more about this guys you can always sign up to the discord server where you will find all the information about the bam bam indicator the tiktok indicator and all the other products like the bfat that we are sharing talking about the bfat this is like the round trips round trips are um, the automated trades that is made by the bfat this is just one of the guests uh, one of the family members that did uh, a post on the, the discord server and shared his round trips so you can see he is trading on the 20th of February and the 21st of February and he's making about 10% profit so he started with 128 US dollar which you can see over there and he ended with 140 US dollar which you can see over there you can see all the trades to be very clear yes wait I will switch to my face so you can see that I am very clear 
app turn around Didi. yes to be very clear oh i need to switch the screen and um, not everybody is making profits with the bfat some people are making losses as well people adjusting the settings sometimes the bfat gets stopped out because of these huge drops in bitcoin so we are optimizing these again and again so don't um, complain directly if you make some loss in average you will be making profits so if you be keeping the same strategy every day again and again at the end you will be making profit um, this is really strange that is the camera if i look at the camera that and i look in the stream and if i look at the screen i don't look at the camera <laughs> oh, it's really uh, cool to play around with these settings um then there was some more stuff guys um wait give me one second i wrote some stuff down now Yeah, I think we had all the, uh, the the charts that I want to share. So let's jump now into the news part, the part that I read this morning during my coffee here, my um, Nescafe, you know, and to make it with water because I wake up that early that the restaurant is not open. So I need to do it like that. And um, the first news I read this morning is about India again, banning Bitcoin. Yes, they banned Bitcoin. They banned all the other cryptocurrencies. But now they announced, ah, we trust the central bank's digital currency that is going to be created by the central bank of India. And that currency we do trust. So... <laughs> that's how the governments play their games you know they ban cryptocurrencies uh -uh, but then they come with their own cryptocurrency the central banks india's digital currency that is going to save the economy of india <laughs> at least that is what they think um so that was the first news uh, i read this morning um why you enjoy this beautiful view i need to read the second news i read this morning because you know i need to save time at the moment oh yeah of course um, we have Square. Square adding another $170 million to Bitcoin. $170 million in Bitcoin, adding that one to their balance. This is the next huge company. And they will be following more and more and more companies, you know, adding Bitcoin to their balance. Because why do they add this to the balance sheet? Because they want to protect their capital from losing. You know, they could be losing all their capital because of the crash of the dollar and all that stuff that is happening now at the moment. We will see a huge crisis because we can't have no crisis after like locking up the world for two years, shutting down all the businesses. There will be some form of a crisis. And these companies want to hedge and protect their capital. And that is why they add Bitcoin now to their balance sheet. So Square is the next one. Tesla already did it. Twitter is going to do it. Uh, General Motors is going to do it. Micro strategy, all of those already did it, and many, many will follow, which will create a crisis in the supply, a supply crisis, which means there will not be enough bitcoins around for all these billionaire dollar companies, and yes, also um, publicly like published companies to buy bitcoin. That is very important to realize that that is like something which is happening at the moment in the industry. Um, uh, what can I tell you more? I need to check. Bam. New exchange PDEX. <laughs> Did you read that one? That was really funny. Um, they are now asking <laughs> their, their customers to send back or sell back the Bitcoins the customers bought with an 80% discount because of a glitch in the PDEX exchange. They had a glitch, so some people were able to buy Bitcoins with an 80% discount. And now this exchange is asking those customers the Bitcoins back. You sell them, ba sell them back at the same price they bought it at a discount. Would you, <laughs> would you sell your Bitcoins that you bought with 80% discount back to this exchange or wouldn't you let me know down below the comments i don't know if they already froze the bitcoin wallets that bought the, um, those bitcoins with a discount if they would be doing that they would be showing that they are not decentralized and very centralized and yes mm, not really honest because if you make problems in your hardware or in your software you know i really think that that um, is your problem and uh, i don't know if i would pay them back yeah i i, I leave it open leave it a comment down below if you would have paid back your bitcoins that you would have bought with a huge discount there was the third news i read this morning was about the brave browser and i think this brave browser news is very and i think this brave browser new news is very important yes there was another mistake and thumbs up for the mistake <laughs> but this brave browser news you know they are going to update their brave browser with a dex aggregator in the brave browser and you can have your nfts collected in your brave browser as well so this is really cool news so you will have a brave browser that has privacy and is very safe and it incentivizes you to use the brave browser then at the same time you will have the access to a dex aggregator so you can see what is the cheapest way of exchanging your cryptos um, to ethereum family token to ethereum for example and at the same time you will be able to store your nfts on the brave browser that will be a huge step for the brave browser 
Uh, that was, I think, everything. And I want to talk about today. Uh, yes, you are not used to me doing these videos in this way. I am just exploring which would be the optimized settings for me to make beautiful videos most parts of the day like this and then a few days in the week make beautiful um, edited videos on these beautiful places here in mexico so i need to optimize my time and i need to mm, focus with my eye which one which way <laughs> am i looking and that was everything oh my god i made a video without saying bam so i need to say some more bam 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 that were all the bams for the charts <laughs> oh i really need to get used to that and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up oh no wait I shared one more, I need to share one more really cool chart with you guys. This is going bad, Didi. Wait, ay, ay, ay. Wait, wait, wait. There's one chart I need you guys to see, and that chart is, fuck, fuck it, fuck it. You said fuck it twice now. Oh, nay, I need to tell YouTube now I said fuck it, because else I can't monetize it. But check this chart. This is a very important chart. This is what happened in 2017, in the circle. We fought this midline. And after breaking that midline, bam, we went up to the top of this logarithmic growth curve. Now, we are now in 2021. And um, check it. We again fought that midline. We broke that midline. I just copied the blue ones, you see, the blue candles, they are copied from the 2017 move and pasted it now on a 2021 move. If we would repeat 2017, that move, after breaking this midline, so after breaking the midline and and then the candles being above this midline we could reach 170,000 US dollar in April I'm not saying that we will reach 170,000 US dollar in April but I'm saying it could happen we could be reaching 170,000 US dollar in April if we follow the move we did in 2017 from the moment we broke that midline you know i think we will reach that these kinds of numbers later or maybe we will reach 100k pull back and then go to 280k in the far future of this year far future like the end of this year but let's see so that was really the whole complete video i hope you really enjoyed the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave comments down below the video educate me as well and let me know that i need to watch in this camera did because there the camera <laughs> so let me know what you think about these videos uh, this way and hopefully you have an amazing day always remember to zoom out in bitcoin and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about and um, i'm going to zoom out now because i still need to organize a car for the family maybe a new accommodation for the family still need to do two meetups today so busy 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 day hopefully um, you can um, respect this busyness here in Mexico for me and just um, take these less edited beautiful videos also for granted thanks guys give it a thumbs up and see you tomorrow again bye bye